Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now tonight we're going to go to night three. Now, first off to begin, I want to say the third night is going to be what really tries to break you. Things are going to be a lot harder now, and if I stop talking at certain intervals, I want you to know that it's because I'm concentrating so hard. I don't want that to happen, but if it does happen, please bear with me because I, I really don't want to die. But I digress. Let's go ahead and get started. Now on the third night, the old animatronics are going to start coming out. Which means you're going to see the Bonnie with the face that's missing, and you're going to see Chica with a really freaky face and it's going to scare you. You can't let it scare you. When it goes up and you're like, oh no, you have to put the mask on immediately afterwards or you hey, will die. Did uh, Foxy ever appear in the hallway? Yes, he did. Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, and my favorite. Here we go. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too So we have scary, Foxy now so they already. They designed him to be more kid friendly and put him in kid toe uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know? But kids these days just can't keep their hands to them. He's gonna be gone now. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together there we go. every shift. He's gone. So eventually they just stopped trying and left him with some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Alright, they're all still there. Look in here, I everyone the is still there. In there, everyone is the still there. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and sell them okay. anything. I can personally assure you now, uh, that whatever is going on out there, I'll let him finish however me. tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Now, uh, there's been talk about what the night, what, uh, phone guy's been saying. There is rumors going around that are, to be honest, a little bit old by now, that this is a prequel to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And that Bite of 87 has yet to happen. What that means is... Hi, Foxy. How you doing, buddy? What it means is that someone on night two stole a costume. A Golden Freddy costume. A chica. Put this up all the way. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Someone stole a uh, Golden Freddy costume, which means... Well, you know what happened with the Golden Freddy costume. Five children went missing. Balloon Boy! I hate you. Hi, Foxy. Sorry, I, I, I don't want to lapse into uh, talking like this. Okay, on the third night, you're going to have to worry about Bonnie and Chica. From what I know, Bonnie comes through this one, and Chica comes through this one. Hello. Oh, someone's in the vents. I guess you can guess who it is. It's going to be Balloon Boy. We're going to pull this up. Uh, we'll call it there. I'm going to keep an eye on everything during this night. This is the night that you're going to be testing. Oh, what happened? Oh, that was a big frame skip I saw. Hopefully you guys didn't see that. Hopefully that was just on my end. That was a little terrifying. I'm, I'm not going to... Yep, I see. There is old Bonnie. Old Bonnie is scary. You have to be really fast with your... What's it called? Flashlight. Uh-oh. I think he's gone. A 
big problem though is the flashlight. No, nope, it's just we have him now. Someone's in the vents. They're both gone. Good. Which means probably the next time that I pull the this down, he's gonna show up. Chica showed up instead. See, you gotta be very fast with that or else you're gonna have a very bad time. Someone is in the vents again. I had to guess, I would say balloon boy. He's gone. Yes. Balloon boy is gonna be contender here. He's gonna try to come and get you. You just have to keep your ears open. Because if you don't, he's gonna shut off your thing. See? You gotta be fast. Chica's being a really hard one this time around. Which is strange. Normally for me, it's Bonnie who's the real contender for mine. Up until... Honestly, all throughout this game, the Bonnies have been giving me the trouble that I have. Oh, that was fast. I didn't expect that. Oh, phew. That was close. It's 5 a.m. Just gotta keep the music box going. That's the big thing you gotta do. Keep your music box going. Alright, she's gone. Phew. That scared me legitimately. I'm sorry. I got, I got, a, I got a little jumpy scared. Oh shit, I just used all of my flashlight. The thing is, you have to be careful with your flashlight. Okay, it's Bonnie. We're gonna pull this up, we're gonna pull this up, we're gonna pull this up. We got this, we can do this. Alright, he's gone, he's gone. We're gonna roll this up the rest of the way. And we can't use our flashlight overly. with the flat. Nope, oh, never mind. Didn't even have to worry about it. Now, I actually died on the third night around four times, but I actually did very well this time. Here we go. Back. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Chica. Hello, Gordon Freddy. I think this is alluding to how these animatronics have souls within them, basically. It's just a very creepy game all around, but you get the backstory. On the surface, it just seems like a very normal style game, but once you get past it, it's very creepy. Once you realize everything about the animatronics. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a quit right here. When we come back, we're going to finish night four, and then we're going to go on to night five. I'll see you guys later. All right? Goodbye, buddies.